you see my face, right? Just totally, totally out, out, out of line, right? I got hair everywhere. The hair is almost blocking my entire face. You know what I'm saying? The plan is to get a haircut uh, uh, immediately, pronto. Today, possibly, if this guy's cutting hair, so. Where's your hair on your face at? Huh? You ain't got it yet? Look at that baby face. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, that's our life in a nutshell. Gotta slide that good old knee brace on because I'm going to go ahead and take my run after I take the boy to school. You got smoke coming out your mouth? Is that cold? <laughs> it got no jacket on. It's like ice cubes back here. He back there, he back there cold, right? We want to complain about how cold it is, but he don't want to put a jacket on. Come on, man. Why do kids do this? Why do kids defy the parents and think they know everything? Why do they do that? It's like a freezer back here. It's like a freezer, sure it is. I like to walk the boy to school, like walk him all the way to the class door. He likes to run away from me. I like to, I like to walk him there. It's my boy. It's my baby. I'm gonna walk him to school until he get to college. Possibly. It's my, it's my baby. Like, I don't care. About to get my run on real quick. I see y'all in an hour. It's sweat. It ain't fake. I didn't go in the bathroom and throw water on my face. I really went out there and worked it out. You know what I'm saying? I do this, even though I wanted to stop about seven times, you know what I'm saying? I haven't ran in three weeks. I've been injured. My, I injured my knee playing basketball, so I couldn't run. Even right now, I'm still, still kind of injured, you know what I'm saying? But I got by with the little pain that I got, but I did it, you know what I'm saying? Three weeks, no run. I went out there and did the whole run, no stopping. I had to will myself to it. Brain power, baby. This is the uh, the book that I'm reading, the Black Panther Speak. I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not this pro-black person, like like this super super pro-black person at all. Um, I'm reading, I'm reading the book because it's gonna help me in the story that I'm writing. Um, like I, I want to see all the terminology and and you know um, what happened with. The Black Panther and their demise. Just all the information. It'll help me with writing my story that I'm writing, with the screenplay that I'm writing. Um, you know, I'm, I am an aspiring screenplay writer. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I'll be writing a lot. So reading this book will, will, will help me a bit. It's almost about that time to go pick up the boy from school again. You know, days fly by, especially when I'm doing absolutely nothing. And I really did absolutely nothing today. I, I, I didn't do anything. Uh, sometime I, I have to do that, do nothing in order to, you know, rest, relax my mind and, and rest my body, you know. But even still, I feel like when I'm doing nothing, I'm, I'm, I'm losing somehow. <laughs> you know, like, like I'm falling behind when I do nothing. So I have to make sure tomorrow I do something and be productive. Today I just kind of chilled out and relaxed and did nothing, like, you know. But anyway, parents, I think you're amazing. I think you're awesome. Me and you both do an amazing job on a day-to-day -day basis to make sure to teach our children integrity, uh, make sure they're fed and safe. And it's our job to raise them to be um, well-functional human beings and productive, you know. We're the kings and the queens. We're the presidents. You know what I'm saying? Donald Trump and 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 celebrities and all those other people are not the ones that's raising our children. We are. We do all the hard work. We cleaned their asses when the shit came out and we, you know, we did all that. They didn't. We're more important, not them, not outside. Change begins in the living room. You know what I'm saying? You change the living room, change the world ultimately. One hug a day will take awkward away. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's up to me and you. I applaud what you do on a day to day basis, parents. You're awesome. You're amazing. But at the end of the day, I am a phenomenal dad. Sometimes I might 
use profane language such as fucking ass sometimes. Sometimes I might go out and have some sex, you know what I mean? Drink a little alcohol sometimes. But hey, at the end of the day, I am a phenomenal dad. And you're phenomenal parents. And I thank you for watching, for the viewers that do watch. And I hope to get more viewers to see my message at the end of the video. <laughs> hey, have a good day today, Monday, Monday Motivation. Be productive, be lazy like me. Hey, and I will see you guys next time, yeah? Have a good one.